Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be talking about uh, our electrical system that we are going to be implementing into our van. First thing we did was go pick up some wires. So we've got some 8 gauge wires, 4 gauge, we've got a couple duplex, so we've got 10 and 2, 14 and 2, and 12 and 2, and we've got this um, 2 gauge as well. And we've also got some 16 gauge. Hopefully that's gonna do the trick and hopefully we don't have to go back to the store. All right, we've got a majority of the stuff that I believe we're gonna need um, to run electrical for. So I think we're, we're gonna start running those wires. Okay, so we finished actually doing 99% of the wiring. All the wiring that we're gonna do uh, before we put in insulation and the walls and everything. Uh, so um, we're gonna walk you guys through exactly what that looks like. Today we also got this neat little wheelie thing. What's it called? Oh, a dolly for our toilet. Ordered this on Amazon. So our toilet's gonna wheel out from underneath our bed. We really liked this one because it's adjustable so you can make it the size that you want it. I think once we make it the right size, we're gonna put a piece of plywood in it, in there since there's kind of this hole. Um, you don't wanna fall through. Also, the wheels lock, which is really cool. So that's right now we're kind of parked at an angle and we just flip down these little locks. So it's locked in place. Here's some of the wiring. This wire, which is a four gauge wire that runs to our battery, which is under this panel. So this four gauge wire is um, fed all along that into the back there. And that is what's gonna connect to our voltage sensitive relay. And so when we're driving, um, that's gonna actually continue to charge the battery for us. This is also, um, all these wires are fed through here. Um, this is a, I believe, 14-2 uh, wire, so it's a duplex wire, uh, 14 gauge, and this is for our outlet for our fridge. This is just um, another outlet that we're gonna have probably on our, on our counter. Um, so this is actually a 14 gauge, and then this yellow wire is a 12 gauge. This 14 gauge wire here also gets fed back behind our bed frame. You can see it going down there. This is for our light switches. This is also a 14 gauge wire and this is gonna be for our fan. So that gets wired all the way back down there. Is that one duplex? Uh, yeah. So this is also a duplex. This is duplex. The duplex, you just you don't need to get the red and black. Um, you can just get this, and um, that's all you really need. These red and black wires are 16 gauge, so these are gonna be our lights. We're gonna have, I believe, 10 lights. So we're gonna have two up here, and then um, two on this bar, two on that bar, and then two more back. Wired all these lights here and they're gonna go just to this main area right here and we're just gonna wire them, um, wire them together along with this uh, 14 gauge and we're gonna wire all that back into our battery. That's all the wiring um, for you know the main living area. Anything that we need outlets wise, there's Katie, you know, outlets, lights, the relay. Um, but we'll head to the garage to show you the batteries and the charge controller. All right, so there is our monstrosity of a battery and we have two of them. These are VMAX batteries, they're AGM deep cycle batteries. Each one of these is 310 amp hours, 190 pounds each. These things are huge. We had the solar panels that came in through the top and we fed it in through top through those holes and then came down along the inside of this black panel and they come out over here and so those cables run up and connect into our uh, charge controller uh, which is a make sky blue 
but be careful there is a knockoff brand of this it's called i, I believe palmer um palmister i don't know whatever but um the make sky blue is the correct one do not get the palmer um that is a knockoff brand and um it's it's poorly reviewed so don't get sucked into that all the materials that we use for this we're going to post links for amazon these are the battery cables um, so this connects the charge controller to the battery and then we're going to wire the batteries in parallel so we will then together we're going to have 620 amp hours of battery Okay, so here are our solar panels. They are uh, 300 watts each, 24 volt. Um, but what I didn't realize until we looked at the charge controller is so they're 24 volt, but they give off a higher maximum voltage. So their max voltage uh, output is 48. So altogether, if it's super sunny out, we're gonna be pulling in almost 100 volts. So also we wired these in series. Just makes more sense to wire the solar panels. In series, you're gonna maximize your voltage more um, for your charge controller and the batteries, and then wire the batteries in parallel. So series on the panels, parallel on the batteries. The solar panels um, run into this connector, and uh, that's, gets ran into the van. So we just drill the little hole and then um, use sealant. And the sealant is awesome. So we got our solar panels from Grape Solar. They were super helpful. Gave them a call and asked them, you know, what do I need to set up a solar system? And they sent me links to everything that I could buy from Home Depot. But yeah, here, I'm gonna just pick up the solar panels from Home Depot, which was really nice. Yeah, I think that was great because it's so easy to return things to Home Depot, like otherwise if you get something from somewhere else and it, you know, isn't really what you imagined, it's a lot more of a headache. Home Depot will take anything like that. So that's our electrical. Um, again, we're going to put links in the description below. Thanks for watching and uh, we're going to keep you guys updated.